Our nickname, ACTA, has a double meaning. It stands for the American Council of Trustees and Alumni, but it is also a Latin word that means things accomplished. Making meaningful improvements in American higher education is ACTA's goal, and working with higher education leaders, alumni, taxpayers, parents, and students towards ACTA, things accomplished towards the end we have of the best possible higher education in, in America is our guiding light. Thank you, dear friends. I'm, I'm honored by your presence and grateful to Dr. Polyakov and his colleagues for the great work that they do to make American liberal education truly liberal and truly an expression of the best of the Western tradition. It is especially gratifying to be in the presence tonight of several of my heroes in the academic and public life of our country. In our flagship institutions, bureaucratic bloat is made possible by immense endowments and endless fundraising campaigns. Donors provide funds and in return they receive recognition and celebration, but no influence, much less control. This actually should come to an end. Alumni should decline to provide single lump gifts. Instead, donors should provide annual reports for specific programs, but only as long as criteria are met. Gifts with strings attached, that's the famous phrase. I'm saddened to be here, and I'm saddened to be here because standing up for free speech, uh, standing up for viewpoint diversity, saying to our students, our, my colleagues who are professors around the country, and to administrators around the country that students should be able to ask what they want to ask, question openly, and do so without fear of reprisal. This is where ACTA plays a huge role as well by pressing our trustees and pressing our alums to demand more. They can say, look, you can't do this. You have to be more balanced. You have to make sure that students feel comfortable. You have to make sure that students can talk freely, ask questions, and not fear some form of reprisal, whether it's emotional or physical. College is about asking questions. College is about being uncomfortable. That's the whole point of higher education. We can't retreat into our safe spaces all the time. We need to be able to have that discourse. Education has been a big part of my story, but also opportunity is a big part of my story. And giving our children the opportunity to get an amazing education and a liberal education. I'm an unlikely education advocate, but I'm an entrepreneur. I, I love America. I truly believe I'm so blessed to live the American dream. I'm a shining example of that, and I want all of our children to have that same opportunity, and I'm very, very worried that that's slipping away. So that's why I'm here, that's why I ran for office, and that's why I'll continue to fight, and I'm so blessed to be part of the ACTA board now and be able to have the support of this organization, which is doing amazing things, and is frankly one of the ways that I am being effective as a regent by having this as a resource and having the amazing work that you guys do as a tool to use in my toolkit. People often ask me why I dug in and spoke up so quickly about problems after Governor Rick Perry appointed me to the University of Texas board. But I don't recall believing I had a choice. What I saw when I arrived offended my own moral code. The dark reality of the admissions abuses taking place at our universities is that the public, and the FBI for that matter, only knows a fraction of the full story. It is important to remember that these abuses are not victimless crimes unqualified and undeserving candidates not only fill spots that less privileged applicants have worked really hard to earn, but their admissions impart a harmful lesson that money is the solution to everything. This is the culture that has placed $1.6 trillion debt at the feet of our students. It has corrupted our higher education system to make entry into universities a privilege and graduates from these institutions elite. Our purpose as trustees should be to upend this culture. Higher education in America should not be for the elite, and it certainly should not be a system to perpetuate the nonsense that a university's value is measured by how many students it turns away. I would like to thank this organization, the American Council of Trustees and Alumni, specifically, and Neil, unbelievable, Michael Polyakov. They brought national attention to our struggle. They brought gravitas and, and expertise from decades in the trenches fighting for sound governance and the sanctity of our American universities. I've watched the organization grow and adapt under the leadership of Anne 
and now Michael, and can comfortably say there is not an organization in America better suited to promote, defend, and educate trustees on our mission than ACTA.